I've directed that we add a total of 534 additional Border Patrol agents to Arizona. The government is concerned about a group of civilians called the Minutemen. For them, today's announcement is too little, too late. On Monday, a thousand Minutemen, some armed, will begin patrolling a 23-mile stretch of Arizona's border, claiming Border Patrol agents need help. Are we going out looking for a firefight? Absolutely not. Uh, do we have a right to be there? Yes, that's United States territory. The Border Patrol fears some of the Minutemen are neither trained nor prepared to encounter illegal immigrants and smugglers. We feel that you, if you bring untrained uh, civilians to an area they don't know, you know, that uh, the likelihood of them getting into a serious violent incident is, is very high. Ah, the civilian fake Border Patrol. This comes up and around every few years. Uh, people who have been whipped up into a frenzy, uh, into believing that the border is being overrun and he can help. What the Border Patrol desperately needs is their untrained civilian vigilante fake uniform rag your gator help. Uh, it's not actually helpful. It's never been helpful. The actual people who work on the border for U.S. law enforcement never think it's helpful. Um, so tonight we're reporting on these leaked documents uh, from the U.S. military that have ended up getting published in Newsweek magazine. Uh, the top line result here is that in terms of this deployment that the president has ordered of U.S. active duty troops to the border right ahead of the election, the military assessment about the threat they're going there to stop this migrant caravan coming up from Central America, military's assessment about that as an actual threat is that only a small percentage of any of those migrants who are a part of that caravan right now will end up ever reaching the border. Uh, here's what the military assesses as the most likely course of action for that caravan. Quote, caravan dwindles as it nears U.S. There is limited criminal exploitation and no terrorist infiltration. So no criminal problem, no terrorist problem, and not all that many people overall. Also, nobody's going to be anywhere for a really long time. They're 800 to 2,000 miles away, depending on which route they take. So active duty troops are being sent there, apparently in huge numbers on the president's orders, right before the election. And he's making as big a show out of it as possible, speech at the White House today and everything. But now we know that the military itself assesses the situation there as nowhere near the kind of terrible, immediate existential threat that the president is preaching to the country as supposedly justifying this deployment. So it's interesting, with this document, uh, with James Laporta's reporting, he's the one who obtained this document for Newsweek, we can see what the military is apparently not at all worried about. Here's a neat thing about this document, though. In this document, we can see what the military is most worried about with this deployment, with this just-in-time-for-the-election border troop deployment. It turns out what the military, according to these documents, according to these leaked documents, what the military is most actually worried about are Americans who show up to play militia and fake patrol the border themselves. They say among the events of interest they need to be concerned about are, quote, an estimated 200 unregulated armed militia members currently operating along the southern border. Uh, for one thing, the Pentagon says, based on their past experience with these vigilante anti-immigrant militia guys, one of the problems with them they know from past experience is that they steal. Look at this, under events of interest, quote, reported incidents of unregulated militias stealing National Guard equipment during deployments. So, okay, active duty troops, if you or somebody in your family is going to be part of this 15,000 troop deployment to the border just in time for the election, you already know, and now we know, thanks to these documents, that the military assesses basically no credible threat of um, that caravan overwhelming the border. But the military does want you to keep your eyes peeled for the armed militia vigilante guys who are excited about the caravan, who might be looming in the area and trying to steal your stuff. Joining us now is James Laporta, investigative journalist at Newsweek. He's a former U.S. Marine infantryman himself. Mr. Laporta, it's really nice to have you with us tonight. Congratulations on this scoop. Thank you for having me. Um, can you tell us, both from um, this document that you obtained from your sources, but also with your own military background, I understand you have military intelligence background as well, what kind of document is this that you've obtained? What would this be, be used for? And also, how secret is this kind of a document? 
So in terms of how secret this document is, it is an unclassified document. Uh, it is for official use only. Uh, it does have a slightly higher classification than uh, for official use only because of the law enforcement sensitivity. Mm -hmm. But uh, in terms of the intelligence assessment, uh, I mean, from my limited experience in the intelligence community, you would see this in what we call an intelligence preparation of the battlefield. Uh, I don't want to... Uh, I want to caveat the term that battlefield is not what I'm calling the southern border, <laughs> but usually is when you would see this. It is a, an assessment of, uh, like, just like you said, the most likely course of action, the most dangerous course of action, uh, but based on historical trends, what the intelligence community predicts will happen. I'm not going to ask you to um, talk about your sources. I'm not pressuring you about that at all. I don't, want to, I don't need you to explain exactly how you got this document, which you say is law enforcement sensitive. It's not designed for public scrutiny. But can you talk at all about why you think this document was leaked? Why somebody wanted a reporter such as yourself um, to, to have access to this information? Well, it, my sources and both uh, other people I, I just talked to today uh, in terms of sort of what is the overall feeling in the Pentagon, uh, they believe uh, there tends to be an agreement on, on two things. One, that it's sort of a waste of time, and there's really not the evidence to support sending this many troops down there. I mean, it really comes from a standpoint of how much money this is going to cost the taxpayers. Um, but in terms of why the, the documents were leaked, it's, it's really to show that, that the military is, is uh, from, from my source's opinion, and people in the Pentagon, they believe, uh, a, a lot of them, not all of them, but a lot of them believe that this is um, politically motivated. And so uh, that, that, you know, they're, they're sending 15,000 troops to basically respond to about 1,400 people that may or may not show up at the border. And, and even if they do, it won't be um, anytime soon. Certainly nothing for which you need to rush people there right before the election, um, if this is politically motivated. I just want to underscore one thing that you just said there, um, not just in terms of these, the sources from whom you obtained this document, but you also just described sort of Pentagon sources more broadly that you're hearing, let me just make sure I got this right, you're hearing that within the Pentagon there are definitely voices who are... Um, upset about this deployment, who are suggesting that it's uh, wasteful and that it is motivated for political reasons and that it is not warranted by the actual um, conditions on the ground. Do you think that is something for which we're going to start to hear a sort of dissent channel um, voice from the, from the Pentagon or that we'll start to see more documents leaked or that people will actually start to talk about what their concerns are about this deployment? Uh, possibly. I mean, the, the, uh, the sources I talked to today sort of paint uh, the Pentagon into sort of three different groups. One group is uh, a dissenting opinion um, from what these documents show. It's, it's basically they are um, hardliners. Uh, they believe in a crackdown on, um, on illegal immigration. Uh, and, you know, they're going to sort of uh, they support what's actually going on. Uh, that is not from what I'm hearing is not the majority view. There's a second group that, you know, they are career military. Uh, they're going to follow the orders of the president, just uh, regardless of political uh, ideology. Um, they're gonna follow the orders, but they really come at this problem in, in, in terms of uh, the money situation. Mm -hmm. Like, what, you know, uh, how much is this going to cost? And then the third group is really, how is this going to overall affect military readiness? Uh, that it's a waste of money. That that the that the even the troop level response uh, coming down from the National Command Authority uh, is just doesn't equate with the most likely course of action. Um, well, like you said, uh, the, you know they're assessing that the the migrants are going to dwindle down to the smallest group. That you know historically, 20% make it to the border, and so if you're taking the 7,000, which is assessed in that document. 20% of 7,000 is about 1,400 people. Uh, so it just seems to them irrational to send a force of 15,000, which is more than sort of what we have in Afghanistan right now, which is a 17-year war, to the border to respond to about 1,400 people. James Laporta, uh, investigative journalist uh, for Newsweek, an infantry veteran of the U.S. Marine Corps himself. Uh, James, thank you very much for sharing this scoop with us. I think it's a really important story. Thanks. Thank you for having me. All right, we got much more to come here tonight. Do stay with us.
Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.